foreigners can't eat spicy food. All foreign guys only like women with dark skin. Sex tourist, alcoholic, lecherous creeps. Foreigners have big penises. All women who date foreign guys are seen as bad girls. Any foreigner who can string a sentence together in English can teach it. This is a stereotype that's been around for as long as I can remember, and that is all foreigners have big penises. Now I'm assuming that is foreign guys, and I don't know if this one's true, but I've seen the scientific bar graphs in the media, and it points towards the truth, but I don't really think it affects relationships here. Although foreign men here will claim that this is the reason why women prefer foreign men. I've read a couple of amusing posts on social media where foreign guys are claiming that whenever they go and use a public toilet here, Thai guys always try and sneak a peek at their penis to see how big it is. Or maybe that public toilet is in a popular cruising spot. We don't know. Hello? Yeah? Well, that stereotype is still alive and well today. Jeez, I thought it was like out of date a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell them. Yeah, yeah, cheers. All right, bye. All right, here's a stereotype that's still going today, and that is any foreigner who can string a sentence together in English can teach it. If you're good looking, you've got a white shirt and a pulse, then you're in government school, language center. And it's this kind of thing that has stagnated English teacher salaries for over 20 years here. Guys will come here, live on survival money and do whatever it takes to stay in Thailand as long as they possibly can. I think if you're looking for better paid English teaching jobs, have a degree, get yourself a PGCE and that'll open the doors to the higher salaries. I covered this in a video, by the way, last year. So the classic stereotype and one of the most complained about by foreigners here is the assumption that all Farangs are rich, they're all here to throw their money around and should be treated like walking ATMs. Now this probably dates back to around the 1950s when all foreigners arriving here on a holiday probably were rich because they would have had to be to afford the flights. But in everyday life here, there's this undercurrent that all foreigners are rich. And I'm going to give you a few examples of that. Well, the first one to start off with would be taxis not using the meter. And this is really annoying when you just want to get home. But it happens a lot in tourist areas and places where a lot of foreigners hang out. And it must leave a really bad impression to tourists. And it starts right at the airport, actually. When you arrive, you just want to get in a taxi, go to your hotel, you expect them to put on the meter, but instead they quote a ridiculously high price. Recently, there was a scandal in the news where foreigners visiting an expo at Muang Tong Thani were quoted up to 5,000 baht to get back into the center of Bangkok. Was anything done about it? Not really. They made a show of fining a couple of drivers and taking away their license for a month, but nothing concrete will ever get done about this. I think an ideal solution would be to get a piece of concrete and throw it through the windscreen, but I'm not encouraging that. Another example is, of course, double pricing. This is where the foreigner price is ridiculously high compared to the local price, which in some cases is even free. In some cases, you could say it's justified. There are pros and cons. I have covered it in another video before, but it's a thorn in the side, isn't it, for the tourism industry? And it will never go away. It's really ingrained. You can complain about it and bitch about it as much as you want, but unfortunately, I think it's here to stay. So this whole idea that all foreigners are wealthy could be blamed on the tourists of the past, I suppose. They had a much more favourable exchange rate. Thailand was a dirt cheap destination to visit in the old days. And for example, you had hordes of guys coming here, two weak millionaires, and they would party like crazy, drink like fish, live it up in expensive hotels and resorts, tip like crazy, bankroll girls out of bars in places like Pattaya, and then even build a house for the family in the village. 
buy a scooter for the brother, fix the sick buffalo. These guys wanted to be seen to have the money. So it was a win-win situation for everyone back then. But nowadays, the bar is too strong. Thailand has become more expensive. So in 2023, to assume that all foreigners are rich is a little bit inaccurate, but there's no shortage of guys out there still flashing the cash. What are you reading? Checking the race meetings for later. Horse racing. Buffalo racing. Buffalo racing? Yeah, the favorite has pulled out of this race because he's sick. Why don't they just take it to hospital? Well, they can't take him to hospital because there's a law in there. Only foreigners can pay for sick right. buffaloes. There's a girl in a village nearby who's trying to get her boyfriend to pay for it. So this next stereotype is often discussed on Thai social media, definitely not in a nice way, trust me, and it's the foreigner who comes here and thinks he's better than all the Thais. He knows best when it comes to running the country. And there's a lot of foreigners like this here on social media, sitting on bar stalls, and they move thousands of miles to come and live here, yet they want the country to be just like the country they left behind. They're constantly slagging off Thais, they're constantly bitching about Thailand. And I think this is a classic case of, if you don't like it here, you know where the airport is. And I hate that saying. All foreign guys only like women with dark skin. It's a bit outdated now, isn't it? I think this stereotype goes back to the days when you saw mostly older foreign men here with younger women who had dark skin. And I don't mean to be offensive here, but it was usually because they'd met them in a bar and these bars had girls working in them that were from parts of Thailand where people had darker skin. But nowadays that's changed. You see a lot of younger, good looking guys with girlfriends who have white skin with their own money, their own cars. The social tide has turned. It's a prejudice, it's a social stigma, not just in Thailand, but all over Asia. Having dark skin here is something that can affect your life socially, romantically, professionally, mentally, psychologically. And what doesn't help is you get all these skin whitening products pushed like crazy lotions, soaps, and the models that promote them are often really white. And much like the whole face situation, it's a bit messy, isn't it? So I saw this post on the Thai Facebook page that suggested that all foreigners who visit Thailand are sex tourist, alcoholic, lecherous creeps. I'm assuming they meant guys. And it got me thinking because some foreigners use this to insult each other and whoever wrote that Facebook post actually probably only observed foreigners in certain areas, probably bar areas, and they must have seen the classic stereotype foreigner dressed in vest, flip-flops, hunched over a bottle of beer in a bar at 10 o'clock in the morning, staring out into the street, living the dream. But seriously, I think it's unfair to tar all foreigners with the same brush. I mean, I know a guy, he is a sex tourist and a lecherous creep, but he's teetotal. So here's another stereotype that tars everyone with the same brush. And you probably heard it. All women who date foreign guys are seen as bad girls, cheap, easy, promiscuous, low class. And it's a very old fashioned conservative viewpoint that still runs through many sectors of society here today. And sometimes it's weaponized against these women to make them feel ashamed or lose face, right from getting dirty or funny looks in the street to being looked down upon at certain government offices. Anyway, I'm sure you'll agree, it's very outdated and should be laid to rest. This is 2023. Mm -hmm. 
popular assumption is foreigners can't eat spicy food. Well, that is not strictly true, is it? Because some can and some can't. It's annoying when you go to a place though and you order food and it comes not spicy because they make that assumption that you can't eat it spicy. Me personally, I love it as hot as it can be. Pak Rapau, beef, pork, chicken, it's got to be shit hot. Foreign guys who think they're God's gift to all Thai women. There's a lot of them out there. And I read a post on Facebook in Thai, and with a bit of help from the Translate facility, I read a few stories as well. And it was about foreign guys and their pathetic attempts to get dates with these women. It seems like there's a lot of guys out there who don't know the basic rules about getting a date with, and I hate this description actually, normal Thai women. There's a big difference between getting a so-called date with a girl from a bar and getting a date in the real world of Thailand, you know, a normal Thai woman, it's not even the same sport, let's be honest. There are guys out there with a real poor attitude to Thai women. They think they can all be bought and there's a price. And there was a story about a guy who turned up at this lady's beauty clinic and offered her a wad of cash. I mean, how embarrassing is that? I knew a French guy years ago who worked in an office here and he was convinced that he could get a date with any of these women in that office by using his exaggerated, sexy French accent. He didn't last very long there. He didn't tell me why he left, actually. I think he was fired for some disciplinary reason. But uh, I don't think I need to tell you any more stories. I'm sure there were places around here where guys are actually God's gift, but uh, I think you get the picture. I do hope you enjoyed the video and you didn't find it offensive or controversial. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. Like, share, leave a comment. If you want to support me and support the channel, you can do so via the buy me a coffee link on the screen or you can join the channel and become a member. That just leaves me to say thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.